Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ebele and as promised, here's the second part of the three-part video. If you missed the first part, use the link in the description below. Otherwise, you use the end screen at the end of this video. Do not forget to subscribe for the third part focusing on the thighs. Ready? Grab your mat, get to the floor and let's do this. Okay, let's begin by warming up and this is important because it improves your flexibility and generally helps to prepare your muscles for all the work ahead, okay? This one is called the cat cow, camel stretch if you like, and it simply involves rounding your back. Good, you round your back and you bring it back to that flat tabletop position. Again, and back to this position. So you do this about three times, about four times, and you're fine. And now we're ready for exercise one, which is opposite arm leg raise. Besides building great glutes, this exercise is equally good for your lower back as well as your core, but it's important you maintain form. As you can see here, ensure your fingers are about shoulder height and your feet about hip height, just as a guide. Okay, so once you're ready, now we can go. Inhale, good. Exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Exactly. Good. Squeeze, squeeze your glutes. And as I always say, if you do fewer reps with great form, you're better off than someone who does a whole lot of reps with the wrong form. Okay? So quality over quantity. Swimming is your next move at number two. In this situation, you lie facing the floor, get comfortable. You need between 25 and 30 seconds to make the most of this workout. Okay, so your hands off the floor. Yeah, don't make contact with the floor. Your feet off the floor, your knees are straight, and then you, you move. So if you observe, it's trying to mimic the actual swimming. Okay, so between 25 and 30 seconds, you should be good. Quality over quantity. Remember that. Squeeze your glutes. And guess what? You're working on your core as well. Well done. And let's get ready for number three. Okay, for the double leg kick, pay attention to this quick demo. Start by clasping your hands behind. Watch my feet are pointed. Then I want you to take your chest off the floor like that. Good, point and flex. See what I mean? So get ready, don't let it overwhelm you. It's quite easy. So your hands are permanently in that position of being clasped, okay? So off the floor, point, flex. See what I mean? So off the floor, point, flex, squeeze. Whenever you go up, squeeze your glutes. The truth is, even if you don't squeeze them, uh, there's almost like a default squeeze going on there. So imagine when you put in some effort. Okay, you do this seven times, you should be fine. 25 seconds should suffice for all of this. Good. See, easy. And did I mention, this exercise is great for your back as well. Nice, welcome to your fourth move. With leg circles, we're going in circles. But I keep reminding you to engage that midsection, engage your core, it's important. Okay, so stretch out your right pointed leg and we're going in circles towards the body first. Okay, nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go in the opposite direction. So clockwise now, good. In about 20 seconds with each leg, you're fine. And the thing is, remember, whatever you do on the right side, you should replicate on the other side. You want that balance. The interesting thing about Pilates is sometimes it appears as though you're doing nothing. I mean, looking at it, one could say, oh, what is she doing? Quit talking, try it yourself and find out how charged up all the muscle fibers within you would become in only a matter of minutes. Okay, that's a beautiful thing about Pilates. It's low impact, but it's highly effective. At number five, the only thing going down would be the legs, not your life, not your ambition. I'll show you how this works. Engage your midsection, good. Remember form is important. And then you assume the plank position like that. Nice, remember form is important, so do not do this. No, 
this way and then we move one two three it looks pretty straightforward which in reality it is but you are doing a lot your glutes are getting built they are getting tightened good like that like that in 20 seconds you should be done with both sides exactly now this is a good time to catch your breath good go into the rest pose and stretch it out good it's equally a good time to like this video if you haven't done that and do not forget to subscribe to join our amazing family of great minds yes so it's hello number six with sideline bicycle okay get comfortable lie on your side well the name gives it away so get comfortable yes support your support your body with your arm there bend a bit at your hip prop your head that way and start pedaling that's all you do it in the regular direction and then you go the opposite direction okay a total of 20 seconds could help you achieve great results here so we're going the other direction now good like you're pedaling backwards in a bicycle a total of 20 seconds and you're fine 20 seconds on each side that is remember we talked about balance so we're taking it the other side the exact same thing i keep talking about balance i keep talking about form and i keep talking about breathing again you're breathing through your nose and you breathe out or exhale through your mouth okay this is fantastic you're working so many muscles but especially your glute muscles now we're going the opposite direction like this and like that great remember to squeeze your back muscles good and now to the big one the bridge now this is a big one we need 50 seconds to achieve this but it's an amazing amazing workout good for back pain control remember to exhale when you go up i'm just going to show you yeah you need a straight leg like that you clamp the other leg and you push off the floor now in pushing off the floor you're not doing it with your arms no those arms are free you push up second time and you lower now when you push you are exhaling so you breathe out like that inhale at the top watch my stomach and you exhale when you come down you push up exhale good now inhale at that point you see my my stomach went up then you exhale as you come down push off the floor and then you come down so observe it this is a big one but it the benefits are are amazing the benefits are enormous okay do your best if you're not able to go seven times on each side you can start with three times or two times and work your way up now we're switching remember the issue of balance i'm just going to show you a modified way of doing this if you're having hamstring tightness so after now i'll show you okay get ready so bend at the knee like that you can do this good this is a modified version otherwise you stay with the main move like this exhale like that inhale at the top exhale as you lower nice remember you're not using your arms no good well done not easy at all but let's finish strong good and down to serve as a guide here imagine you're stamping the ceiling exactly so you remember how your feet should be all right now you cross it over at this leg and then you stretch pull it in so this is your stretching stretching is important so you're you're releasing all the tension in there do the same to the other side with the other side and then you're gonna feel it all along this area that i'm gonna show you in a second right now there see what i mean so you feel it there and then you're just stretching out you cross your leg at your ankle keep your back straight inhale stretch that neck good hands up maintain the straight back as you come down yes we did it applause applause well done you've done it okay do not forget to check out the other videos i've done i'll link them here and here cheers people